For this video, I'll be talking about constructions and hyperbolic geometry using this hyperbolic soccer ball model. We are first asked to mark two points on our model and pull tightly between them. Now we have our straight line AB. Now we see in this hyperbolic model that if we were to just let the model sit on its own, the line doesn't appear to be straight, but it is still considered a straight line. Next, we are asked to draw two parallel lines that emit a common perpendicular. So see here we have line AB is parallel to CD, and we have the perpendicular from P to F. When we let these two parallel lines sit in their hyperbolic plane, they don't appear to be as straight as they would be in a Euclidean plane. Even though they don't appear to be as if they are straight lines like we're used to in Euclidean, we can still say that they are parallel because the lines do not intersect each other and therefore CD begins to diverge from L. When pulling this model from various points, we see that the lines still never intersect. I began to run out of space in my first model, so here's a second model showing my areas on the hyperbolic soccer ball. For this next part, we were asked to construct three triangles of varying sizes, so I have one, two, and three. To keep this part simple, all the triangles share a common angle of 80 degrees. The work of finding the area and the defect for these three triangles was done in my report, but the reason behind this exercise was to observe that area and defect do relate to each other. For the last part of this project, we were asked to construct two circles with the same center and one having twice the radius of the other. So here I have a circle with a radius of one and a circle with a radius of one half. We are then asked to estimate the circumference and the area of both of these circles. The question from this exercise also allow us to see the relation between circumference and area. And this completes our hyperbolic soccer ball models.